Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Rigor Mortis Paranormal. Tonight's episode includes Gentleman Ghost, Lady in Blue, The Hauntings of Ramon. I am David. This is Robert, Jasmine, Corey, and Ian. Hello. hello. Hey guys. Hey. 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 <laughs> when you said the Lady in Blue, it reminded me of Lady in Blue. Oh, Red. Dancing. I don't know. <laughs> well, I did that for my quinceanera. I don't know who the fuck chose that song because it wasn't me. Probably nobody was even in red, right? No, <laughs> yeah, our theme was like pink, pink, and we had to do the stupid hand things where you would oh, come yeah. like this. And <laughs> the lady but she did, and then she actually did the uh, the face frame. Oh, really? Or like, like, oh, no, what'd she do? Like, oh, strike a pose? Know. She wanted us to like Vogue or some shit. Yeah, that's what it was. She wanted us to like walk, and she was like, I don't care what kind of move, hand movement you do if you do this. Uh, like, this like, was for your quinceanera, because yeah. I don't know if we mentioned that. But for the dead man, that lady had like breath, like smelled like horse in my ass, man. <laughs> oh man, she, she'd get in your face and tell you, "Okay, I need to." She reminded me kind of like a the dance mom. Oh uh, god, yeah, what are yeah. Those? Oh, yeah but man. she wasn't me- she wasn't quite as mean, but she was like, yeah. "How the fuck can everybody wanted her on special? She can't dance." She oh, can't I know. dance, right? Yeah, she can't. She comes in with like a bag of Cheetos, bitchy. <laughs> hey, like, you're doing it wrong, uh, Haiti, or whatever the fuck her name are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Man. Yeah, but she got kind of locked up for a little bit, didn't she? For embezzling or something like that? Of course. Yeah, really? yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know. I think they actually canceled her recently. Uh, she's completely. still making money, though. I think she's on there still, dumbasses still going for her. So, mm-hmm. I, obviously, she's got something going on. I just. Because, I mean, that's what I would want, man. If somebody could, like. If you're an instructor, then instruct me, man. I mean, I, I, yeah. I'd like to see her actually dance on her tippy toes, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's suspended, right? Lift, lift, lift. Oh, I don't know about her, man. Jeez. But the thing, too, that was even worse than her were the moms that would lick her ass, man. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I was like, what is wrong with you, man? And like, I, that's why none of the husbands showed up. Like, fuck that, man. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, bitch. I wouldn't show up. But they were always kissing her fat ass, man. <laughs> and believe me, man, she had room for more, man. It was like, every, right? I mean, everybody was kissing her ass. And then they would get jealous because she was paying more attention to, I can't remember what the name of that kid. I say Haley, so I'm not going to mention her name. But, um, um, or they, I saw Somebody was on the top of the pyramid yeah. or yeah. got a soul. Why isn't that my little girl? My yeah, little girl's exactly. way better. Yeah. And then, <laughs> man, that lady would go off too, man. Like, uh, she would talk shit to him, but then some other ladies get fed up too. Yeah, you know what you need to do? Stop eating the Cheetos, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd be like, oh, blue, I'm mature. And, and then she'd go to her fucking uh, her room and cry. Uh, like, well, this, While eating a bag of Cheetos. They <laughs> wipe her eyes with yeah. Cheeto bags. <laughs> She's still crying for <laughs> chewing. <laughs> that's fat, man. When you don't let crying interrupt your eating, that's oh. fat. <laughs> Hey man, honestly, I gotta say this, man. Um, uh, here we go, another fat work <laughs> scenario here. Actually, it did happen. I feel really bad for this guy because he's super cool. But dude, he's another super fat dude. Right? And, and, and that's all my friends are fat, man. Like I said, uh, but like, this guy, he's like really big, man. Who's the Duff and y'all's fat friends? The Duff? Yeah, like the designated fat friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. Just whoever wins the, to- the coin flip that way. <laughs> the one that makes y'all look better because they're so ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's got to be one guy, right? <laughs> I don't know. They're all fat, man. They're all old timers, too. But, uh, this dude, honestly, um, he dislocated his fucking shoulder and wiping his ass. <laughs> what? what? Oh, <laughs> they claim that's what happened. The guy keeps saying, whoa. Something like that, but it, I was already having problems with an out angel. I was like, what happened to <laughs> me? Indeed, I mean, I guess, I, well, okay, first of all, with fat folks, man, I mean, we're always, like, when we take a shit, we're, <laughs> we're there really trying to wipe and clean and get it really good. You know that's the first person that, like, when you, they, somebody smells shit and you're standing around, it's the fat guy that's going to get blamed. Like, dude, you need to clean your ass? So that's why we're there. So that guy, he had a lot of... Uh, natural bridge cavern to dig through there, man. So he was really trying to get in there, I guess. And yeah, he came out. They were saying because I guess he told somebody, but that person he told should he should have never told because hey man, did you hear about? I'm just using oh, this man. phrase, Raul. Like his name was a Raul. Yeah. But hey, Raul, fucking, he just looked at his shoulder, wiping his ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh, man, man. Was running like kind of rampant everywhere. 
<laughs> so he didn't finish wiping his ass that day? Because I, I couldn't. Did or maybe that. with the other arm, right? <laughs> the thing is, is, I didn't even ask after that. They said, yeah, they, like when he was in the restroom, they had to help him put his shirt back on. Oh, oh he put his shirt on. <laughs> Wait, his shirt back on? <laughs> he took it off? <laughs> pull, pull, pull the George Costanza. Why are you talking about his shirt? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, they said like oh. that. Nobody was gonna get near that ass, man. And the thing too is, right next to that restroom, there's a uh, there's actually a car wash. It's right next oh. door. So but they weren't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that, they, they recommended it. Them home too, man. He was all like, oh, oh, when well, they were touching it. <laughs> well, I haven't seen no. him either, man. But so I, happened at work then too. So or? Like, yeah, he was in the oh, stall. And he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fin- when he finished, did he wipe from from back to front? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. I don't know what that's like, yeah, that's how you, that's how you get infections. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get a brownie yeast this way. But I, 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 know, I feel really bad for him too because I don't know if that's true because you hear a lot of bullshit at my work. Yeah. I mean, people talk out their ass, but man, supposedly he had said, like, you know, they asked, I don't know, something went wrong. I just kind of, when I was wiping, I heard like a pop in my shoulder and I'm just, oh man, it just dropped. And I was trying to do it with my other hand, but I'm not I'm not left handed. So it was just like going on and oh like he was God. serious, but everybody were like <laughs> laughing at him like dude for real, you know, yeah, yeah you gotta be careful. You know, no the better about that shit hurt, man, you know, like but I, how do they do that? Does, no is that a work injury? For real. Because he got hurt at work. Man, how do you write that on a report and for, yeah, for you know, work? That, and that too, they better take you straight over to go get I'll tell a man because oh, somebody yeah. drives you with their yeah. vehicle because I've been hurt there but not like that but I mean <laughs> oh, yeah. I got my special towel oh. my, my front to back is my one hand in front and one back and doing this, the, the back the, the rope should, back uh, and forth the, what is it the, the oh, gross, yeah. Yeah, it gets everywhere a little bit. <laughs> yeah you're just smearing it <laughs> just smearing it that was bad man I said man the guys are going to get a big kick out of this oh, oh that can take your nose okay hold on hold on hold on hold on I'm making my own report here <laughs> You put a safety? No, 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 man. I'm going to put it on a show, man. Yeah. Okay, even it's better. Funny. Yeah, it's too funny not to tell. <laughs> so, obviously, I guess they, I don't know if they have, I haven't seen them. I mean, hopefully, I see oh, them dude. tomorrow. I'm going to ask them. Hey, bro, what happened, man? Oh, freak accident, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's messed up. Man. I am poor guy. Yeah, but things that, man, it's like, and things are going crazy again, too, man. I mean, we're shutting back down everything, and so yeah. uh, hopefully, we can push out more of these episodes for y'all. Uh, Anything else? Anything? Any uh, bad rash stories? Uh, <laughs> Corey? Work? Corey or? <laughs> you more baby powder? Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you and I cut you know. Go well, ahead. I know, I just said that's a shame. <laughs> I mean, I, Are you I, sure you don't have something to say? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I do have something. I can save it for later, though. <laughs> no, I'm right? just kidding. Whenever yeah. you're ready, you let us know. <laughs> All right, I'll drop that bomb whenever I'm ready. Drop <laughs> <laughs> that bomb, man. Yeah. Make sure you wipe after. <laughs> Front to back, right? Yeah. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Just spinning everywhere. <laughs> you sit too long, man. You can't get up, man. You're stuck to the chair, man. You do, man. You know, man. Adhesive. But, yeah, I feel bad for him, man. I was like, uh, hopefully he's okay. Yeah, yeah hopefully so, man. Raul, hopefully you're feeling better. <laughs> Dude, like all, all the way Mill Gibson used to do it on Lethal Weapon, when he would bang his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, what do you say? We get the first one? Let's do the first one. Uh, Which one is the first one? I don't know. You want to do Gentleman Ghost? We'll do Gentleman Ghost. Let's do Gentleman Ghost. Okay, this next story comes to us from Maria. Maria writes, Hello. About three years ago, I moved into a house by Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. It was just me and my little girl. My house is big and old, like from the 1930s. Almost immediately after moving into my house, strange things started to happen. I started to hear knocking on my restroom door one morning while I was brushing my teeth. I didn't think anything of it because my daughter was taking a nap and I figured she got up from her nap and was looking for me. When I opened the door to let my daughter in, there was no one there. I went to go check on my daughter in her room, and she was still sleeping. I checked the rest of the house. The front door was still locked, and no one was there. Then one night, when I was getting ready for bed, my daughter was laying down with me. I saw a dark shadow of a man standing by my bedroom door, looking in, watching us. Then it just turned and walked away. Thank goodness my daughter did not notice the shadow man. 
I jumped out of bed and turned on all the lights. I went through the house checking to see who was in my house. Again, my front and back door were locked as well as my windows. This really frightened me. About a week later, my daughter stayed home from school because she was not feeling well. I was taking a shower with the door open in case my daughter called out for me. When I was changing, I looked up and I saw the shadow man walk towards the bathroom doorway, look towards me, and then turn around quickly. It went down the hallway. I saw it walk through the door to the hallway closet. I was frozen in disbelief of what I saw. I went to check the closet, and just like before, nothing but blankets and towels were in the closet. I now knew I was dealing with a ghost. I told my mom about what was going on in my house. She came over to bless my house with holy water and prayers. It was quiet for about two weeks. Then I started hearing knocking again. One day, I woke up in the morning with my daughter to make breakfast. And my daughter asked, Mommy, who is that man? I turned around in enough time to see the shadow man standing in my living room. Then it just disappeared in front of us. I wasn't sure what to tell my daughter so I told her it was a nice ghost checking up on us. She looked at me strange. Things have been like this off and on since I moved in. I don't really feel threatened by the shadow man. It has never tried to hurt or scare us. It never goes in my room my daughter's room or the restroom almost like it respects my privacy thank you for letting me share my story the gentleman ghost he sounds pretty no, gentleman i was gonna say yeah he's a gentleman <laughs> yeah. sugar he's dead <laughs> <laughs> you know at first i was gonna say i wonder if it was uh you know like maybe somebody that passed away in her family but i forgot she said they just moved into the house so I saw Apparently not, so anything could have been happening there. I mean, it could, have, yeah. could have been, too, like somebody that did have morals from back then, you know, yeah. like, you know that, you know, didn't cross that line or, you know, because, yeah. Uh, she looks improper. Yeah. <laughs> I should be crossing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, ma'am, your ankles are showing. Yeah. <laughs> Cover your ankles, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know why I said Scottish. <laughs> but... <laughs> When I was hearing that, when they were saying that, that's what I kept thinking. I was like, I guess there's nothing worse than having a perv ghost. Yeah, worse, yeah. <laughs> like the one <laughs> where the lady was like, don't laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one that got raped, man, the guy was like, oh, oh, her husband oh, got, oh. <laughs> her ex-husband got, yeah, I, I, they were mad, right. they even woke up sore and everything, yeah. Yeah, I was like, man, that was rough. But yeah, that's uh, yeah something like that. That's not cool. Man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, because you know, because yeah, the ghost is taking advantage, man. Oh, look at there, boy. Look at that, boy. <laughs> Checking like, out the goods. I'm <laughs> 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 not gonna feel, but ever sleep again, man. It's like tie me down, but facing up. Man. Like, oh, I don't care what they do, but <laughs> find something right. I take my mouth, though, man. Right <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, what do you do, man? Like, that's <laughs> you just tea, ghost tea bag in your forehead. <laughs> he has his mouth tape. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> it couldn't be a young buck. He is old. Hey, some yeah, 50 year old. Yeah. Ball's just taking about 30 terrible. minutes to drag across. <laughs> hanging and stick. Oh, get off of me. <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> this is like an 80 year old dude. <laughs> oh God. That's, oh man, that's terrible. It's like but, I, th I thought it was a grandfather <laughs> clock at first, but uh, no. <laughs> that like was clockers, not a pendulum. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh man, you have your lip going up where it's uh, stuck to it. I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this old ghost. <laughs> well, no, at least this one had like scruples, man. Because that's what I kept thinking. Like she was saying, like she was changing, and like the ghost looked in and like immediately turned around, and you know that that's pretty decent, yeah. man. Because I don't know what to make of that. Just like we said, the gentleman ghosts are definitely not a residual haunting. Yeah, because right? it had like it, exactly yeah, it had it intelligence, you know. Yeah. I mean, not demonic either. Otherwise, I mean, yeah. whole different set of circumstances happening. Oh, definitely. It's kind of yeah. weird. I mean, 
that, that's kind of weird. I mean, is that would you be afraid of that then? Or I mean, it doesn't do anything. It's Fans like, kill. well, yeah, that's really what she was saying that she was getting feel threatened by it. And yeah. So, oh man. Would, would, would you try to hang out with a ghost like that? Yeah. Like, I mean, if you if you have a haunting and it's just like chill, you know, like not, Casper. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I mean, yeah, Casper, like, like <laughs> basically. Yeah, I mean, like, would you try to communicate with it and befriend it? Well, they say something? sometimes like. Okay, they disguise themselves. Yeah. No, no, but like maybe I mean, that is like that. Maybe that is like they is like you. I mean, they've been there three years and it's still the same way. But I mean, another passing ghost sees like, hey, well, they're chilling, but this one's a dick. It's not the same person. No, you know, maybe they'll scare the baby, yeah. you know, or he is a peeping tom or something, you know. Yeah. You know, like run off the good ghost and yeah, take yeah. his place. Good. So here comes old Barney wants to come and he wants some too, you know. So yeah, yeah it's weird, but he's an asshole. Yeah. You know, so you're like, fuck, man. You know, but you're right. It's not a residual if it has like a, a conscience or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's weird, man. Yeah, that is. That's kind of true. I remember hearing of like a, a specific demon that would like, or some kind of like, I don't know if it was a demon or something that that's what it would do. It would act nice and befriend you and draw you in but then it would do its yeah. thing you know what it I mean it starts so, turning uh, around and, like, I can't well, remember what I mean, it's called well that reminds me we, wa- we watched the movie recently uh, Ouija Ouija or whatever oh, yeah, Ouija yeah Ouija uh, beginning of the nightmare whatever they call it it's, uh, yeah that's true but yeah. where the, the little girl the little girl yeah, yeah could like I guess she could hear her ghost or whatever with the Ouija she board she thought it was her dad and they were all yeah she thought it was her dad and so it started off seeming like it was nice and friendly until until he was all the way in there, until they yeah. trusted him fully, and that's what happened. Yeah. It's just me, Beelzebub, or something. Yeah. yeah you know, it's not. Yeah, it's crazy, though, man, shit. But I guess when we started doing this, when we started listening and hearing different stories, how we do pay attention to, like, you know, hey, well, that's not always the case. Like, what was the other one? Well, you should talk to it and tell it not to scare you. And, you know, you could stay here, but if you do that, yeah. and like I said, you may be telling a demon, hey, well, you already said. Or like, it's like, what, inviting a vampire in your house? Yeah. Like, Come on in! Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And the next thing you know, they start changing. Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, they're, you know, sucking on your kid's blood and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, well, the vampires, but yeah. <laughs> maybe you get a vampire story. That'd be awesome, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, cool. man, that freaked me out. That would be cool. A vampire sucking on a COVID-19. You son of a... <laughs> <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> like, you know, man. <laughs> He's got a mask on and shit, right? <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> That's true. What would they do? What would a vampire do in this situation, man? Like, <laughs> with the COVID-19... I took the 14 <laughs> days. <laughs> Take the temperature of his... Yeah, the first. Yeah. You're good. Step <laughs> over here. You're getting this line. Yeah, you got yeah, waiting 14 days. Like, yeah, it's just like, you know, what the hell. They, they, they already did, so yeah. <laughs> I guess that's Yeah, what's the matter, right? Well, maybe they get sick still, though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Maria, thank you for that one. That one was awesome. Um, you want to go on to the next one? Uh, sure. You can go in, I guess, do a Lady in Blue. Lady uh, in Blue. That's another short Lady story. Oh, okay. <laughs> this story was sent to us from Alex. Alex writes, Around three years ago, me and my friend were coming home late from a party. It was around 1.30 a.m. We were driving down a dark road in Converse, Texas. It's a kind of creepy road during the day, but at night and the dark, it's crazy creepy. And to add to that, there's a cemetery on the side of the road we had to pass to get to my house. As we got closer to the cemetery, I noticed a woman up ahead wearing a beautiful blue dress. Her dress seemed to almost give off a blue ray of color. When we passed the woman, my friend said, Look at her face. It was strange. The lady had no face where her face was supposed to be. She had long black hair, but no face. It was weird. On top of that, she had no legs. She seemed to be floating along. We continued to drive up ahead, frightened by what we saw. My friend couldn't believe it and said, I gotta go back and see what that was. I told him hell no, but we turned around and drove back to where we saw her, but she was no longer there. We drove further down the road, but we still didn't see her. That was the one and only time I saw her. Kind of like a La Llorona type story, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking. Well, I mean, or the lady on the side of the road, whatever. Because of the cemetery? You think that's what it was? That she just got bored and said, fuck it. Oh, yeah. take her walk. I'm putting my blue walk. dress on and my wig, but you got no face. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, you got but no legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, uh, I, you know, 
hopefully it wasn't somebody in a wheelchair I was thinking. Like, they just kept like, along. And, <laughs> At least they were floating yeah. along, right? She was like, she was floating along. They just couldn't see her legs on the floor, though. That's all it was. Maybe she was on the hoverboard, right? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get out of it. Yeah, just laying there forever. Yeah, they're in the cemetery. They're like, fuck it, I'm, I'm heading out, man. Because that dress actually seemed like... Because I keep thinking it was like blue and they said it was very beautiful. But I don't know. I always pictured like the the puffy shoulders and like, yeah, you know, the... the, the like she, she's been laying there since the 80s. So, you know, she just probably wanted to head out and go see... Uh, <laughs> Pavel Demon and the Lunchables or wherever they are. <laughs> you know, so I need to get out of here, man, you know. So, <laughs> and, and that's a trip, though, too. Yeah. Like, just uh, be gliding along, you know. Because I wonder if they can do that, right? Just, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just gliding. Yeah. Why? I'm knocking on wood here. Why are you going to put a uh, wig on and you, <laughs> you got no face? <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> <laughs> it's probably sideways or something or all in knots and stuff. But I really too. love this wig, you know. Like, oh, <laughs> it's a beautiful wig. <laughs> What's creepier, a bald woman with no face or you know, yeah. wig no face? Well, I guess it'd be no head then, I guess. If you can't That's see your face, maybe it'd just be no head. It'd be a headless blue dress floating, it's basically. Blue dress? Only the top part also. <laughs> I just really love that dress. But I wonder if they got buried in that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so That's true. Yeah. I was thinking like a dancer, like if you went to a... a one of those high school dance or something, or yeah, a ball or something. Maybe it's a quinceanera dress. Who knows? But that's weird, man. I mean, just to see that walking down the road. I mean, I, I, that that would be kind of anything going down the road. It's dark already, and then you know you pass the fucking cemetery. Where was that at again? On what Converse, Texas? Converse, Texas. Okay. There's a lot of limestone over there too, ain't there? Uh, uh, I might be. Might be. I don't know the structure. I was just wondering because I was thinking for some reason yeah. I was thinking San Antonio again. I was like, hey, if it's on the west side. I mean, you got some. Just put some Tejano music on in and you see everything <laughs> dancing in, like going down the street. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy, and uh, I was trying to figure that I was trying to look that up because there, there's still some of us that still try to do research, but it's hard to find anything on stuff like that, yeah. you know, because we've had those before where they had tells of folks coming out of the, uh, I think we had one from San Antonio West Side from the... Uh, cemetery? What was the cemetery? San Fernando, San Fernando Tacos. Yeah. Uh, uh, San Fernando Tacos. <laughs> 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 they get about food again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so they are sold in a cemetery. <laughs> yeah, but like the, the lady, they said there was a lady in white on that one. Oh, that's and right. That yeah, she was yeah. rolled into the courts from like in the 60s or 50s or something like that. Yeah. So I'll be like, damn. So that's crazy. I mean, and it's always a lady too. So I mean, yeah, yeah that's true. Homeless Joe or something like that. It's just. <laughs> Maybe she so. wants San Fernando Tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting out for some tacos. I that would be something. Taco yeah. house myself, but, you know, by our oh, house. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sigville. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I liked about that, man? You need a cleansing, you go there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You eat that. Yeah. And they were big, man. The, and those things, and they were, I did like the barbacoa, man. They, well, they, I, I, they I had don't a little know. fat. That's all right with me, man. <laughs> yeah. I used to uh, eat the tacos, like, in a way where I'd, like, I pretty much only hold them at the top. So I'd bite, you'd be biting off, and the barbacoa would fall out. <laughs> Because I like to just eat the the tortilla by the, the grease. The grease, yeah. Oh yeah. And I remember uh, Uncle Ruben was making fun of me, like, you know, that's not how you eat a taco, right? I'm like, yes, I know, it's how I eat it. That's the way I like it. Well, yeah. There's actually another one. Uh, those ones are awesome too. They're really good. They're uh, barbacoa tacos. But the, when I, <laughs> the guy in front of me ordered too, the big boy, the one that was choking on the tacos, oh, yeah. he was he was walking out all proud, dude. I looked at his bag. It's a brown bag, but it became oh. see-through. Because all the grease, and it was, I'm not lying, man, the drip. It was just, yeah. well, he, I don't know how many tacos he yeah. had. So it could have been, yeah. He had a grocery-sized bag, and then, uh-huh. it was see-through, man. Yeah, I and see then, that all the time, man. Yeah. I'm like, bro, check out your fucking tacos, man. He's like, huh? They're like, oh, that's disgusting. I'm like, bullshit. Man. Yeah, his hands are all greasy and everything, dude. <laughs> He's saying you like to take over your shirt and rub himself with a grease. <laughs> <laughs> make him shiny. <laughs> like I get, this, yeah, I get the smell it later, man. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. That's it. it is good, but man, it's an uh, artery clogging mother, man. Especially about our call, man. Yeah, he always, and we always do that too. Every time yeah, we get tacos and stuff, the same thing, man. You always see the bag is like, the bag, it's a brown, it's the brown paper bag. Yeah, man, it's see-through. Oh, you, you can see the aluminum foils as clear as day. That's when you know you're in for a good time. Yeah, that's a good taco, though, man. But And then I wonder why I have high cholesterol and this other crap. <laughs> I should have ate a salad. Yeah, right. <laughs>
greasy salad or something. Cause, yeah, that, cause it, yeah, cause you hear the guys like when we would go buy them. He was like, yeah, we got to get our energy. I was like, dude, that's the exact opposite. Yeah. Man, all that greasy is going to slow us down. Nobody could energy. Really, like, and you know we're what? our pants and shit like that. And you know the other thing? Every time after eating those tacos, man, I always, like, I'm, like, coughing and stuff. Like, if I smoked a pack of cigarettes, man, that's the way it sounds, man, because he's got all, all kinds of congestion. It's just the grease, and it's all dried up in your, in your esophagus. Yeah, you use your four fingers or a scrape on the top of your roof of your mouth. Oh, oh that, 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 that dry grease. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Drink hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's But anyway, uh, we, we've been all way off yeah. there, man. Far from going to uh, the Lady in Blue. Yeah. Oh, but uh, oh. thank you so much, Alex, for that. Thank you so much. That was an awesome story. I really got to do a little bit more digging about that place because uh, I haven't heard anything. I uh, just such a small town you know maybe you think you might find something on it you know but first thing i did was uh look up uh hauntings in uh converse texas and i couldn't find shit you know and i was like wow oh, you know uh they gotta have something the only thing that popped up was the werewolf of converse texas way really? back in the day wow. it's supposed to be it's wow. supposed to be real big uh, all over the world so it's all good so, oh wow that's cool how okay. old is converse i didn't even think it was that old of a city man i don't know yeah that's true i don't i wouldn't think it'd be that big either <laughs> Hey, Ian, you had a story, didn't you? I was going to say, yeah, since we're on the topic of, like, death and cemeteries and stuff, back when I was in uh, college, sophomore year, my differential equations professor, um, he's a foreign guy with an accent, and uh, but but he's really, really fluent in, in English and a uh, re- weird sense of humor, and that's, he told us a story. He's, like, the middle of lecture, he's like, hey, you know what, I got a story for you. And I don't know if he was serious about it, he told the story like he was serious, but he also laughed afterwards like it was a joke. He told us about when uh, he and his brother were young. I think they were like in elementary school, maybe. They were just they got to talking one day, and they're like, you know what? We don't really need our sister, so they decided to kill her brother. Damn. To kill and her, to kill their sister. Yeah. They, <laughs> okay. So they literally they sat, they brought her into their mom's bedroom, and they, I think, and they laid her down, and they literally just they put the pillow on her and started suffocating her. They did that for a little bit, and the mom came in and, like, before it was too late, stopped them. But, like, but he, he told the story to a class full of kids at, at t- like a college kids. <laughs> no kidding. Like, it's, it's like, nothing. Whoa. And he said he was laughing about it after Yeah, he was laughing. He was like, we were yeah. Boot, right? yes. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> there were rumors going on, like, later on that we started hearing about how maybe he was actually, like, yeah, you know, like yeah, he he had to escape from his country for killing somebody. Oh, they maybe. he wasn't like an elementary teacher. So he comes oh here and he gets a great job, job. <laughs> and then starts talking about it. Like OJ, what if I did? What if I did do it? <laughs> oh my god! Did they go to Scotland Yard and look up their top uh, uh, most their wanted? Most wanted. Right? Yeah. he's on the top. Uh, and then he's a teacher like, too, right? Yeah, he's a teacher. Yeah, that's crazy. And like, how'd you get this job? <laughs> well, well, speaking of teachers, didn't Curry, didn't you say something about a, uh, a yeah. substitute? How about this? Oh, this is like recently, More man. sobering. Sobering thoughts, yeah. I yeah, guess. This was recently I saw on the news. Right down the street, man. She killed her parents and then killed herself, right? Shot her parents, oh, went her to her the backyard and, and shot herself. 2020 has been fucking crazy. Let me yeah. tell you something that happened to us last weekend. Okay, so, um, I don't know. We had to go to get some hardware from fucking Home Depot and... There was a lot, uh, like everything. There was a lot of shit going on in the back seat, or I don't know. Corey didn't think. Anyway, so Corey gets a lot going on. Uh, whatever. I don't do like. There's no excuse. There, I've never done this before. He jumps out of the. Oh my god! It makes me so mad thinking about it. I didn't he jumps jump out. He, yes, you did. That's why I was like, and he never jumps jumps out of the truck either. Like people just fucking step. Anyways, he jumps out of the truck. And then, for some reason, he decides just to look, like, away from the car. And I don't know if he's stretching or something. And everything, I'm like, come on, you've never done that shit before. And now you do it, you know? <laughs> he, forgot, he forgot to put the car in park. Oh! Yeah. Oh, my God. So, it good. was rolling. And then, of course, I was, like, by the time I, like, realized what was going on, I was, like, frozen. So, I was like, Corey! <laughs> oh, 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 man. So, he dove into the car, but, like, with his Manic hand. Style, right? Yeah, like, he didn't jump into with his feet. He kind of just, like, with his hand, pushed the pedal. and. Holding on to the door. Well, here. by that time, we had already hit the car in front of us. So, oh, yeah. Oh, man. I smacked my head on the dash. Oh, oh my God. I was so Blood mad, man. My head in there. No, but I was so pissed, man. Like, he got in the car, and I was like, all I wanted to do was, like, just fucking be mad at him but he turned around there's like a big ass knot on his forehead <laughs> 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 
I just couldn't. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he had another oh, knock. Yeah. Where did that another one come from? <laughs> 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 Well, didn't y'all, didn't that well, guy, he kind of swindled you? I don't know. Yeah, yeah so, anyways, no Corey was like, let's just go. <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't. I know, I but the way our shit's been going, I'm like, it's okay, like, I believe, I mean, karma. good karma has to come our way. Like, we have to tell him, like, you know what I mean? Even though there was no damage done, like, at all. I was like, let me just tell him anyways, because no one that there was a security guard watching. And, um, she didn't do shit, fat ass. He comes yeah. out. Hey, who, who is she going to chase? Well, she, anyways, he came out and he was like, I was like, I have insurance if you need it. And he was like, yeah, can you get that for me? And I'm like, oh, fuck. So as soon as he said that, I started taking pictures of the car just so no shit will come back. Anyways, after we were all done, Corey still needed to go inside. So I was like, whatever, go, like, go real quick get what you need to get and then um as soon as he walks into the store my good karma came back at me and uh somebody backed up into our car Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's crazy so this is the same time thing yeah like we, yeah try to drive off too, right? she tried to drive off and me and like because me and um our niece was in the back seat and i turned around and, I was, and she was like Did like what just happened stop? <laughs> I mean, I got out of the car because we were like, what the fuck? Like, there's no way. And then she was like, still, like, she, I guess she had reversed into her car, pulled forward, and she was an older lady, so she didn't know how the fuck, I don't know what she knew, but she thought she was doing anyway, so I was looking at her, and she was like, you good? I'm like, you hit my car. <laughs> I'm not good, you hit no, my car. Oh, look at my husband, he got two cheats on the Oh, there you go, he could have blamed it on her. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. You still gonna blame on her. Just roll out of the car, man. Just oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. It's just a bad day, man. Shit. It sounds like a bad day. Day man. after our, our expensive ass battery kit died on us too. Oh, oh that's shit. just us and cars, man. You know what? That's so weird because I have an old truck, an old black truck. It's a 1955 uh, truck, and it doesn't run or anything. The engine's out and the transmission's out. But I had it parked at some. This, garage down the street and this guy is like hey man i need you to move it now so anyway we we're moving it home and this uh other guy helped us tow it home and what he did was basically he just hooked it on and just pulled it and put it in our backyard because we had to store it in our backyard because we got neighbors that are idiots man. they'll call uh you know they'll call the code compliance or whatever on the phone so anyway we we're moving it to the back and uh he just unchained it and we we're just uh he was he was just moving the the truck he was pulling it forward and something got hooked and my black truck it's like on a hill kind of so when he let go of it it started to roll back and it was going right into my neighbor's house oh, and i was oh, like damn. oh my god man my heart dropped man and uh i started running i was like <laughs> I, I panicked i was, yeah, trying, yeah, I was gonna try and grab it no i know those things wait ton, but or it just re- it, it only rolled back like a foot though but in that one foot to me was like 15 minutes yeah. of me just like <laughs> panicking you know it's like, it's like <laughs> Because I saw, I looked at it where it was going, and I was like right into my neighbor's house, which is about 15 feet away, maybe. And uh, I was like, oh no, dude, this is not going to end. Damn. That reminds me of uh, when I was in middle school. My mom had parked, me and my sisters were sitting in the car. I don't remember what we were, we were getting ready to leave or something like that. And a uh, bus driver, I guess, she parked, and I, I guess she put the, left the car in neutral or something like that, and she stepped away from the wheel for a second. I swear, I hear like an explosion of sound, and like our car bumps forward. And we got rear-ended by a uh, bus. Bus. Damn. Uh, it, no, no major damage. It, it's well, yeah, emotionally traumatized. <laughs> oh, I would have rolled out of that back seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <Hey>, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wipe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should, um, should we get on to the next one? Yeah, or? let's get on with that little oh, yeah, last, last one. one. Oh, yeah. we got one more here. We still got uh, the hauntings of Ramon. That's a good one, man. He, he's it's all story. over the place on that one, so enjoy. All right, guys. This next story comes to us from a Ramon Casares. Sorry if I said that wrong. The earliest memories I have of my childhood seem to revolve around a lot of paranormal happenings that have occurred to me and my family members. I remember living in a white house in Dallas and I was probably three or four years old and my two sisters were approximately 10 years older than me. Just an FYI, some parts of this story are second hand, so I'm recounting what I've heard my family talk about and a few of my own memories. There was a time my sister mentioned that when we first moved in, they noticed what looked like tiny footprints that were on the wall and led up to the attic. Supposedly they painted over the footprints. But after the paint dried, those footprints would appear again. 
There's a time one of my sisters went up to the attic to store away some stuff and she heard some noise coming from boxes that were already up there. And I figured it was mice or squirrels. But suddenly, all the boxes began to shake. And she was so frightened she got out of there as fast as she could. I do not know the exact timeline of when this all occurred. The next thing I remembered was my brother and sister-in-law talking about how one night they stayed up late watching TV. All the lights were off and next to the wall that the TV was at, there was a doorway that led to perhaps a hallway dining room or kitchen. According to them, a small white creature ran out in the middle of the doorway and made a noise as if it were saying something to them and then it ran off. It sounds bizarre, but they were scared nonetheless. Let's fast forward a little to what I remember. There was a time when we were hearing what sounded like somebody walking in the attic or on the roof of the house. My dad worked highway construction, so he worked out of town quite often, so he wasn't there to check on things. I remember the cops being called and they searched. And they didn't find anything. I think they even mentioned that we probably have squirrels, birds, or even raccoons. Of course, the noises continued, but they were just shrugged off as pests in the attic. My last memory in that house was my mom putting me to bed, and I was frightened because it was storming outside, so my mom laid down with me. My two sisters were in the kitchen with a couple of friends hanging out. They were talking and laughing, and I remember my mom yelling loudly, Is somebody smoking a cigarette? I clearly remember my mom quickly getting up and rushing to the kitchen. I followed closely because I was already frightened, but her concerned tone of voice and her urgency to get to my sisters made it a lot scarier and dramatic, so I closely chased behind her. We got to the brightly lit kitchen and my mom was like, who's smoking? Everybody was confused and denying ever smoking when all of a sudden somebody was banging at our door. My mom opened the door and a man standing out in the storm was yelling, get out of the house. The house is on fire. Apparently a lightning struck our house. Fast forward a few years. My dad's work made its way towards Lubbock and eventually to a small town called Hell Center, Texas. I remember my mom taking me to these Mexican stores in Lubbock. They sold, of course, Mexican food, piñatas, herbs, etc. Every time we would go there, we would end up walking to a room in the back of the store. There was always a person there that would read our tarot cards and could do limpiezas with a broom, herbs, incense, and an egg. As I think about it right now, I can't help but wonder why I was always taken to these things and always had these spiritual cleansings done to me at such a young age. But apparently, my mom was no stranger to these types of things. During this time, my sisters were already married and moved out and my dad worked out of town so it was pretty much only my mom and myself. I remember I found a paper bag that was thrown in our front yard. I opened it and it had a dead chicken in it. Supposedly it was some type of brujeria. Here we go back to the Mexican store. During that time I remember my mom putting down her cup of coffee and as she briefly looked away and then back, the cup of coffee would be on the opposite end of the table. Not to mention hearing voices and seeing shadows. Fast forward another couple years. We moved to Amarillo, Texas. There was a guest house behind my parents' house and that was my room. At that time I was getting into metal music and my taste was becoming heavier and heavier and I was very curious with a lot of the evil content, especially Satanism. I was in middle school at this point and I was buying books like the Satanic Bible, the Satanic Witch, terror reading books, etc. I was so into it, I would wear an upside down cross. I had a 4 inch upside down cross on my wall with a picture of Jesus on the right and a picture of Baphomet on the left. Apparently I did some weird stuff that I do not remember to this day that my other family members swear up and down that it happened. For instance, there was a time when apparently I was chasing my little niece and nephews around with a butcher knife. My sister had to shake me to snap out of it. I don't remember, but to this day they are afraid of me for that. A lot of weird stuff started happening like voices and shadows. My mom knew about it and here we go again to a card reader. This time it was a different lady and at her house. The lady had a room where she did all her spiritual stuff and she had a round table that was full of little statuettes like saints. And some of them were angelic and demonic in appearance. I asked her what all this was for and she said, she accumulated each figure through the years from past witches and warlocks that have passed on. She said every witch has some sort of talisman that they use to communicate with the spirits. By the way, I forgot to mention that her husband was a Satanist. He was the one you would contact if you wanted to curse somebody. He had a mask that grew on the side of his torso. And each time that he would do brujeria, he would stick a pin needle in the mask like a pin cushion. I remember my sister going through a divorce and she asked for a spell or magic done so she wouldn't lose her daughter through the divorce. He offered to take care of him for a fee that would cover his costs and the purchase of a chicken and a goat. 
He did his magic in a detached garage, and he had a huge pentagram in the middle of the floor. He also said after sacrificing the animals, he would take them to either the cemetery or out in the middle of nowhere. Not sure, but he said he would take the dead animals and feed the beast. I guess it was kind of an offering. Anyway, back to the lady. As she read my mom's cards and they spoke for a little while, she would keep glancing over to me. This was the first time meeting her, but she started to tell me personal stuff about me. Now, logically speaking, my mom probably told her a lot about me, so that is a possibility of why she had some insight about me, so this didn't come as a surprise. But when it kind of got real was when she looked at me and said, that shit that you think you're doing, you do not know who the fuck you're messing with. You're opening doors and letting shit out that you have no idea what you are doing. She said I have something dark following me. The last thing I remember her telling me was there's going to be someone who wants to kill me. And if they did get me, I would be sitting on a bench or a chair. I'm still alive, not going to worry about it. So we go home and everything proceeds as usual, except all the weird things begin to get a little more intense. I remember my mom waking up to scratches and bite marks on her leg. She mentioned feeling her feet and toes being pulled at night. My niece had this large doll that stood about three and a half feet. One day I got the doll and I taped firecrackers on its face. I beat it with a stick so that she was pretty beaten up to say the least. Of course, my sister was pissed, but my niece would still play with it. One day my sister was kind of disturbed because the doll looked eerie, so she put it in the closet and left for work. When she got home, the doll was sitting on the couch facing the door. She thought it was weird, so again, she put it away, not thinking too much about it. The next day, the doll was sitting on the couch, and that's when my sister freaked out and had my brother-in-law drive it out to the country and toss it. My parents' house had a one-bedroom guest house, and that was my room. I was in high school at this point. At night, I would hear someone or something walking on the roof. The attic was big enough for a human to crawl in, so I assumed it was on the actual roof. And these were heavy steps, and there was no doubt something was up there. One night I was brave enough to run outside to see what it was. The guest house was small enough for me to view both sides within seconds, but nothing was there and as soon as I went back in the house the sounds would start up again. My ridiculously large upside down cross with Jesus and Baphomet would not fall but fly off the wall. In this guest house I also had a kitchenette and bathroom. I had a red light bulb in the kitchen and one time I had friends over and they screamed and ran out. I ran too because they scared me. They said there was a dark figure in that room staring at us. My brother-in-law went to investigate. My sister lived next to my parents and they heard the commotion. There was no one else in the house. My friends left. More noises, more shadows. There were times I could see a dark shadow looking into the windows at night. I think the scariest experience was when I was lying on my bed to go to sleep. I felt someone laying next to me. The bed went down slowly. My eyes grew wide in fear. And all of a sudden, I heard someone slowly inhale and slowly exhale next to me. I was so scared I couldn't scream and I felt like I shrunk into my bed. I pulled the covers over my head and I think I literally fainted because that's all I remember and then I woke up in the morning. I decided to move into one of the bedrooms in my parents house. I still use the guest house as a jam room and hangout room but as soon as it became dark I locked it up and got the hell out of there. I still heard noises and saw shadows but I felt safe because my parents were in the same house. Time went on and the years went by. I am married now but my lovely wife is very skeptical about ghosts. She grew up in a Baptist church and was taught there were not such things as ghosts. That it's either angels or demons, not ghosts. I believe in God and Jesus, but I don't buy into that bullshit. Yes, there are angels and demons, but there are ghosts and spirits as well. I don't know if all the weird things have either calmed down or it's all just normal now. I still hear noises and see shadows. I shared my experience with my kids. One house we lived in, I mentioned seeing stuff and my son said he saw a little girl walk from one bedroom to the other. I told him I saw the same thing. One day I was watching a popular ghost TV show, which is more for entertainment. I believe it's probably 25% real and 75% drama and entertainment. Anyway, every time I watched the show, she would make fun of me and the ridiculousness of the show. She's entitled to her opinion, but when I kind of went off on her is when she basically said there's no such thing as ghosts. It's either demons or their imagination. She said if ghosts were real, then would have been mentioned in the Bible. I'm no Bible expert, but I pulled out scripture. In the Old Testament, 1 Samuel 28 talks about how Saul went to a witch and she conjured Samuel's spirits from the dead. I've seen most Christians argue that it was a demon disguised as Samuel. 
But that is not what the scripture says. The book of Daniel talks about how a hand appears and begins writing on the wall. These are only a few examples of many. If you think about it, the whole Bible is paranormal, and it contains what we define as supernatural. She's beginning to see things differently. Still, hear bumps and knocks and still see shadows and even white figures. It could be nothing, but every now and then our doorbell will go off on its own. We've had the glass door open so we can see who is at the door, but no one is there. The doorbell is hardwired to the house, so a battery is not an issue. Anyways guys, love the show. Thank you for giving us all an escape from all the negative reality going on. Cheers and beers. Wow. Damn. That guy... Hold on, hold on. I have one question. What music was he listening to? Like, what? Like, come on. You, you can't just tell us you're listening to metal and you have to drop some names on oh, yeah. it, some songs. <laughs> I think like, we're curious, like, man. Like uh, so, ABBA or Air Supply or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Take a chance I don't even, on me. <laughs> I don't know any, like, death metal bands. You know any, Corey? Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean, I don't know what era yeah, this guy's like, from. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Like, yeah. black or death metal? Yeah, I was thinking, like, uh, was it those Norwegian ones? Uh, they were talking about how they were taking it to some extreme extremes oh, yeah. to where I think one guy even... Killed himself? Yeah, I think that's a band Mayhem, and uh, one of their album covers was a guy that uh, the singer he shot himself in the head with a shotgun, and they have like brains. They use that picture. That's right. You're right. They use that picture yeah. as their album cover. That's what it was. Yeah, they, yeah. Those guys. Were. Who was it? Mayhem, a band called Mayhem. Oh, I think I've seen that. It's it's a mess, yep. man. It's just but those guys were. But he, I think like even the guitar player or something like that. They uh, they did like. Uh, crazy things like that. I thought he was involved with a murder. So I, I could be wrong. That might not be the same band, but they, they, yeah, they do take it a step yeah. further, man. So that black metal over there is crazy. Yeah, man. that's what they were saying. It's had some extreme metal or whatever. You yeah, want to I mean... You know, the other thing he was talking about, the uh, when they heard the footsteps in the attic and they called the cops and stuff like that. Man, it reminds me of the story, Rob, that uh, I guess you don't remember. Maybe you weren't there, but uh, anyway, when I was younger... Uh, I was at my grandmother's house. We used to stay there a lot and stuff. But we were with uh, two of our cousins, and I guess you weren't there. I don't know where you were, but I'm trying to remember. Uh, I probably but, was, but I just bad, bad memory. Yeah, no, there. I hear you, man. But uh, anyway, we kept on hearing this, you know, like like rolling. It sounded like like somebody was running on the on the roof of my grandma's house. And my grandma lives in a house that was built in the early 1900s. I don't know what year, but um, so it was an old. It's an extremely old house. Uh, and uh, anyway, so we kept on hearing this. Uh, it's just a creepy house to begin with, without anything scary happening there. And uh, but we kept hearing like somebody running on top of the roof. We're like, what the hell? It was like uh, ten o'clock at night, and we were freaking out. And, uh, me and my like, two cousins were just like totally freaking out. We we're panicking, man. And we, were, like, we kept on hearing this thing, like somebody running and running. And we called the cops. Same thing like this dude did, man. We called the cops, and the cops came over. And man, we were like shaking, man. And uh, we kind of opened the door. We were afraid to open the door for the cops, but. And then they got there, and uh, so they're shining their lights up there, and we go on the couch, under a blanket, (laughs) big time under a blanket, (laughs) man, holding each other. (laughs) But on a gay party. (laughs) (laughs) No, but the cops get there, they open the door, and they're flashing the lights all over. But they knock on the front door, and I don't, you remember Grandma's house? We always use the back door all the time. So we walked out with them, and we're walking towards the backyard, and they're flashing their lights, and we're like, man, it's there. We hear it. We still hear it right when they pulled up. And it's like, so somebody's running around up there. And uh, we start walking around the back, and they got their flashlights, and they're looking and looking. <laughs> it was those pickle jars, one of those big five-gallon pickle jar buckets or whatever. It was rolling around on the roof. Well, <laughs> oh my God. what happened was we used to well, we used to collect, my, my grandma had pecan trees in the backyard. We used to collect the pecans. We put them in the buckets. And we would fill those motherfuckers. We'd fill them up. <laughs> now, like, old being old. Yeah. Hey, I'm hearing that. I'm like, fuck, we should have ate those motherfuckers. No, I know. But, right. Yeah. yeah. No, but, but we were throwing them out cars, or we were throwing the pecans out the cars. We were on the roof, we were throwing the pecans out the cars nice earlier in the day. Yeah, I know. Sandbag attacks, pecan <laughs> attacks, you name it, man. That was so nostalgic. I can't believe well, I can't, and it's stupid us, man. I was like, that's what, that was like our, our karma, man. That was our... Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have internet, but we had fun, though, man. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were like, we could, I'm surprised we didn't burn that house down or something. Because, oh, I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> we were brats, man. Yeah. I remember the plumbing on that house was horrible. Oh, yeah. Man. The, yeah, the shit would come through the, the, the shower. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, God. You know, you're trying yeah. to get clean, but you got shit on your feet, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. 
God. You have to go outside and use the yeah. hose, man, the hose off your feet. God dang it. Shit start coming out of that mangana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They're trying to drink it from the spigot. Oh, <laughs> oh gross. <laughs> Watching the car and it's getting all brown and it's <laughs> like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, using your thumb to give it the spray. It's like, oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. See the gun clogging up, right? You know those fucking oh, yeah. going on, right? Looking at it, <laughs> looking inside the hose, <laughs> blowing in the hose. <laughs> you can peek eye after that. <laughs> oh, gross. Look at the eye, man. I don't know. Bad infection, man. Shit, it's <laughs> disgusting, man. Yeah, man. That, but yeah. going back, though, man, that guy had everything, didn't he? Yeah, he did. A lot of experiences, man. He did. He it's had crazy. all kinds of Was stuff. Was a little white creature that ran by? Oh, yeah. Right yeah. And it kind of tried to say something, you know, but they couldn't understand what <laughs> yeah. it was saying. That's, That's creepy, man. Windy or something? Uh, yeah. It might no, be. That. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's interesting. But, man, that, that was everything. He had everything, right? He had yeah. that, and then, uh, oh, what did he say about the cu- culanderas? I can't pronounce uh, it. Cul- the culanderas? The, yeah. the, the witch doctors, uh, the limpias, the one yeah. we were talking about. He was saying that there was the different, well, they went to the same one until they got the different uh, lady. Mm. And then the husband had like a growth, or like that's what oh, they're saying, yeah. like that. And then he was using like yeah. picks or needles to, and he would use yeah. a pin cushion. Oh man. Man, that's something Ouch. else, man. No. That's crazy, man. I mean, the, this guy had it all, man. A haunted house, the, the demons, uh, okay, the, yeah. the witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah witches. Yeah. That's crazy. Metal, yeah. Metal, yeah. <laughs> You know, I have the worst one of all. <laughs> no, it reminds me of like mom, you know, same thing. I wonder like, you know, it maybe just something follows him, you know, or, or yeah. he's a little bit sensitive or something, you know, and that, that it could be. It could be just something following him or just the way yeah. I, you, I don't know about what y'all think about this, but I don't know if maybe maybe the golden deadas could have messed with him, yeah. Or, that's true. Maybe or, he or with him. Or even no. just the haunting from the first place, you know, the one in Dallas he talked about. Yeah. What so they that's, said Sorry, Rob. Uh, oh, no, no, what? No, what, didn't one of them say something about, like, you have no idea what you're doing, you're, you're stupid, you're yeah, younger. Yeah, that's what she told him, like, you're opening up a whole can of worms, I mean, you don't know what the, the hell you're doing. That in itself could be what's causing all of the other stuff, I mean. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's when he was it, right, right? It's just like, yeah, you know, if you don't close that right, or you um, invited something already passed through, you know, so now it's free, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's We've all seen Hocus Pocus. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 what's up? What's up? His focus. When he lights the <laughs> candle. Was that the one with the, the three witches? Yeah. I don't remember. Yes. Sarah Michelle oh, Geller yes. and oh, okay. Bette Miller and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. That's old school, right? Yeah, yeah, big but, times. But I have no idea what would that be. I mean, because it's a whole slew of Sarah things, man. I wonder if like, any of his kids got that kind of. Uh, yeah, that's true. If anything got passed on to them, I don't think. Well, like, I don't think nothing happened to us as far as it being passed down to us. I think you know. Um, well, I mean, we've seen, we've seen yeah, stuff we've seen before, stuff, but but not like mom though. I mean, I don't think none of us have had issues like, you know. Oh yeah, mom yeah. did. I think, I mean, and that was some crazy stuff too that she had seen. So yeah, it, I mean, I don't know too because like yeah. Riot tells the stories and um, I, I know Christian was telling us another thing that happened. And, uh, I'll wait for him to explain that one, but yeah, it, uh, it could be coincidence, it could be a lot of things, but yeah. the world's come going to hell in a hand basket, <laughs> basket fast, oh, yeah. but again, <laughs> it's going yeah. around a basket, God. <laughs> it's going in my sock. No, oh, it is, man, you see crazy things, you see looting, rioting, it's COVID-19, you see crazy yeah. things, man. Free out of Washington. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. conspiracy shit yeah. that I don't not get, get into, yeah. but. Well, have y'all heard any news about the murder hornets? Yes. Uh, I, there, has there been any news? No, no not they lately. Left too. They're like, fuck this. I'm yeah, leaving this week over here. <laughs> but I saw a meme saying something like, somebody's trying to travel back in time to correct 2020, but each time they do, they keep fucking up something. <laughs> <laughs> stay here, just stay here. <laughs> he was like, that's how you explain how the, there's no more mor- murder hornets, but look now what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wouldn't that be something if it started with a murder hornet? Yeah. Like, oh, no. we got no murder hornets. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first thing for the year was like what World War Three, and, the, and then and then fires, and then the fires, and then man, I'm telling you, right? With the murder hornets come to Texas, I'm out of the country. State. I'm out of the state. I don't care. I'm going wherever they're not at. The turkeys are still bad mothers here. I mean, everybody would say the same thing too when they were coming up through Central America and all that, and then when they finally made it here, yeah, it's like. Uh, 
their bad news also, but like, oh, I mean, man. really, we haven't seen any in our backyard or nothing we like that. We have a uh, wasp nest right as soon as you walk out the door, so no. be careful. I'm, I'm we gonna gonna do that old yeah. Remember the old school way? You just go inside, yeah, just uh, grandma told, dale, eche la agua caliente con polvo, y tira, <laughs> and it works, man, I'm not gonna lie. You get like uh, hot water, you throw a little bit of your dishwashing liquid, and you just have to have a good aim because I've done that before and I just pissed them off. <laughs> like I just pissed off. I hit you the just clean them, right? Like, oh, you son of a bitch, that's soap. But man, if you get them direct, they just drop, boom. They really? just drop, yeah. yeah. With soap with the. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Wow, and that's water, soap water. And I get that hot water in there and just. And just like, oh man. And then run. That's just throw and run. You know, you turn oh, around. Man. But they just fall, man. It's crazy. And then, I mean, you could either watch them die slowly or step on them. It's up to you. Or be all. <laughs> Get the VO5 hairspray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I meant chunkless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his name. Yeah, that's There'll be a beep right there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please. Uh, anyway, uh, oh man, this one wasn't so bad. I mean, honestly, the last two, and this is the one I'm talking about, this one and the one before, we were kind of sluggish, man. Like, we have Corona, man. <laughs> no, you know what? I know what it is. We keep doing it. And then I'm hungover, and we're all hungover, and we're still trying to drink. That's right. I didn't know Jasmine was up till about 6 a.m. drinking last Drunk night. Drunk like a motherfucker. <laughs> well, I, I saw the clock, and it was 2, and then we had, like, just, we kept ten, drinking. <laughs> 10 minutes later, and it was, it was 5. <laughs> yeah, we were like, what the? So you got any good stories from the drunk story? I mean, uh, drunk story remembers. <laughs> I know, right? Well, That's no, the sad part of being drunk. My alarm got off, and typical old guy, when that goes off, I got to pee. I get up, man. I'm like, what the hell? I said, I'm going to go check in the back because I hear something. I look back there and they're over there. Like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, ah, dude, it's already 5 o'clock. I Damn. woke up still drunk. I hate that. That's oh, the worst. Shit. Everything was spinning. My cousin woke up drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like roll Whoa, off the bed. Like that, man. Oh, I, well, I used to. <laughs> I used to, but. Yeah, I've done that and before. And that's actually, uh, I prefer going to work drunk than hungover. hungover oh, yeah. This is when you get The only thing is I can smell it, though. Yeah. I had to take a bath because I could smell it in my hair. <laughs> like beer in my hair. That's just breath. It doesn't matter, man. That man, I know. One time I went into work, man, and I, dude, I mean, I took a shower, but and I can smell out it. Your, yeah. Yeah. That's the worst because it opens your pores. You start working, yeah, and and you start you sweating that beer out. Sweat out. Everybody I knows. Drink my beer to get drunk. Not smell it, man. Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. But you get hungry too, too. Like I mean, I did. Yeah. I remember, like I remember, Dave. You couldn't eat shit, but I, oh, eat I could. My, my fat ass would get hungry, man. <laughs> It's weird too. And then after that, man, those fucking uh, hangover dumps, man. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> my stomach hurts all the time. Man, Beer it, shit. Yeah, oh, it, it, I mean they're the best because you're finally getting all that shit out of your stomach. But man, it's horrid, man. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh yes. my god. You know, you and just send it like candle and starts melting faster. <laughs> There's something wrong with the flame. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <need> the blue. <laughs> Wait, that's normal for everybody, right? The yeah, beer shit? Yeah, the beer or shit. just that's you gave it to me? Yeah. That's a yeah. Walking, right? What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Seriously, it's like a refinery, that flame. It just keeps going. And it's bad, dude. And then you're just in there and you have to just... And then because you want to get up and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> you're just stealing your own juices. But as soon as you stand up, oh, oh! And then just... <laughs> you're flushing, it doesn't help. Oh, yeah. That's the last time I I drink a uh, Lone Star. Like, oh, oh shit, man. man. You're at the club, that's a cheap thing. You can drink that shit, man. Oh, man, yeah. I've seen Lone Star, yeah, for a dollar. But man. that's what kind of screws it up, too, man, because, like, you do that and then. Like, well, I'll just eat a little bit of menudo or I'll eat a barbacoa or I'll eat a tiny salad. Yeah. And those are like, you know, <laughs> probably the best thing would be like oatmeal or some malto meal or something. <laughs> I used to yeah. have a bad habit of drinking like chocolate oh, milk right before I drank. Oh. And it would mess up my stomach all the time oh. because chocolate milk the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so we would go to the store to get like the beer, of course, and I would see chocolate milk. And I would, every time I finally Are you learned. or just chocolate milk? Huh? A you who or chocolate milk? Um... um no, I don't know. I just like the cheap uh, Hill Country I, Fair. I love chocolate, chocolate milk, but chocolate I can't milk, eat because yeah. it hurts my stomach. But I mean, yeah, I, I like it. Chocolate milk. I can only drink it after exercise. What's good for a uh, post exercise? I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Tastes disgusting to me any other time. Oh, I love that man. I used to man oh, with the at school. The hamburger day it was like a Tuesday or something, and they give you the cowboy cookie. But I would have that with the the fucking. That's uh, crazy. 
chocolate milk. I don't know who the fuck would get skim milk. They always had skim milk. Nobody. Yeah. Like, no. Like, and you're in elementary. You know, everybody's looking at it like, why the fuck would you drink that? Yeah. Milk, I understand. You know, you like milk. That's more power to you. But yeah. me, I, I didn't like milk. I, I can't drink milk because yeah. I get sick, man. And it's weird because, like, I love ice cream, but I get, like, my stomach hurts. I guess I'm like, yeah. it's daughter. But I love chocolate milk. And I'll start drinking that shit. But, man, it goes sour, too, man. I mean, like, weird farts, too. They even sound weird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, I take too much chocolate. But, you know, with yeah. the, the, the cookie, fuck it, man. <laughs> cowboy cookie. I'm surprised that. I'm that's surprised they call them, right? I don't know why they call them that. You're like, probably right, yeah. yeah. And then there's stupid assholes that ask him, can I get a cowboy cookie? It's tough. <laughs> you want a cookie, man? There's something there. I was like, oh, no. They, they were just regular chocolate chip. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. They were just generic ones, that's all. <laughs> but if you put the name cowboy in front yeah. of them, wow. like a cowboy toast or, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why is it? Yeah, for some reason, it always makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of Daker cookies. In my college, there was uh, the cookies they made. Like, they'd come out so gooey and, like, melty and, like... I'm a sucker oh for cookies. I don't even like chocolate chip cookies, cookies that much, but cookies and brownies. Amazing. What they tell you, too, like, when they come directly out of the oven, man, that's one of the yeah. best. Man. Yes! But they tell you, don't eat them like that because you can eat choro. I was like, fuck really? that, dude. Oh, I didn't know that, now. Uh, yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. I eat them like that. I'll be like, fuck it, man. Yeah, okay. Here I come. Uh, what, what is that? Uh, What's cho- choro? Choro? Oh, oh choro, diarrhea. Diarrhea. Oh. The runs. Oh. The runs. Oh. Yeah, we probably should have okay. clarified that. Yeah, yeah. 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 chokes. <laughs> what is that stuff that ma- uh, Jamie makes? The uh, arroz con... Oil? Leche? Yeah, the, it's oh, the rice, uh, like rice, rice pudding. Like s- oh, rice seven. pudding. Oh, okay. Or aguas so leches good. or something like that. Yeah, I can't, oh, I don't know. She makes it around Christmas, uh, oh, but she's, good. Oh, it was like, you're gonna right? shit if you drink it. Okay. It's so fucking good. Anyway, man, uh, Ramon, thank you, sir. That is yes. such an awesome story. Awesome, awesome. Definitely, that was really good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you guys, um, hey, if you guys got a story you want to send in, uh, please send it to us and uh, actually call it in. What's that phone number, Rob, if you want to call that in? That phone number is 210-901-866. And remember, folks, that is a three-minute call. So if you go over on your story, uh, please call back and let us know it's part two or part three or however many parts you need. And we'll edit that bad boy to sound like one badass long story. But if you're the shy type and want to write it in, then what is that website? Actually, you can visit us online at www.rigormortisparanormal.com. And on there, there is a button that says Submit a Story. You can just click on that button and you can write your story out and send it to us through that page. Or you can just email it to us at rigormortisparanormal at gmail.com. Uh, we'll read your story. And um, however you decide to get it to us, please just do get it to us. Uh, we'll air your story, and we need as many stories as we can get, so just send it our way. And, uh, uh, yeah, we love hearing them, man. We're always getting something new. And, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, the Gmail one, actually, we do get a lot from there. But Whichever way you decide. And the phone call is always awesome, man. We don't have to put oh, so much nice. work in there. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, it you don't have to hear my mouth full of marbles talking. So, <laughs> dude, that's gross. Right? Some perms out there. What kind of marbles? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to, if you guys like us, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share us. Especially share us if there's people that you think might like our content. Yes. They uh, want to laugh along with us or at us. We, we don't mind. That's right. And always, uh, also, again, those nice comments that we got. Yes. We, got to, we got some more. Oh, there's some yes. nice. Got nice comments. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> with the fat guy who has his caches get real red. My, my cheeks get red, and I look down and I have a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. You guys are seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for, uh, for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Yeah.